The danger of flies acting as carriers of disease emphasizes the need for their principal breeding grounds to be discovered and for control measures to be practiced. The fresh refuse which is brought to the tip on the collection vehicle and deposited near the tip face requires prompt attention. First, it is pushed into place and is then ready for treatment with insecticide. Spraying should be carried out as soon as possible, otherwise the flies quickly make use of their opportunity to lay eggs. When refuse is seething with larvae of various stages, fly control becomes more difficult. As whatever insecticide is applied to the surface, adult flies will later emerge. Regular spraying of all fresh refuse is essential. Power-driven sprayers are an advantage on tips with a large area to be covered, and they reduce the manual effort involved. DDT in emulsion form is widely used for controlling flies on tips, and it is a good insecticide against flies which are not resistant. The extent of DDT resistance is sometimes exaggerated, but where there is genuine resistance, an insecticide with a different mode of action such as malathion is required. Bucket pump and knapsack sprayers are convenient for applying liquid insecticides both as emulsions and wettable powders. Knapsack sprayers with polythene containers are light and have the added advantage that the amount of insecticide remaining can be seen at any time. Where water is not readily available at the tip and where it cannot be brought there in a drum, insecticidal dusts may be used, although liquid sprays are generally preferable. For successful fly control, regular treatments at the recommended rates of dilution and application are vital, and fresh surfaces should not be left untreated.